Now, of course, Allah is putting Iblis to the big test. And then he says to the angels, he says that I want you to then bow down to this, to this creation that I've created. But this bowing is not the bowing of shirk. It's the bowing down because God has given this particular creation such great qualities and Allah has said that you should then now show it respect. So it's the bowing of respect, not the bowing of worship. Right? So Iblis is burning there, he's standing there, he's burning inside and he's watching all of this. The angels, they all went down into prostration, all of them went down into prostration. When they were in sujood, Iblis was standing up and he didn't go into sujood. Now, what we learn here is that when you sin, it's not the nature of the sin itself, but it's the one whom you've committed disobedience against. So why is it then that for a disobedience that Iblis did, God or Allah Azawajal said, you get out of here, you're outcasted. And for a mistake that Adam salam made uh, when he ate from the tree, Allah Azawajal didn't just, you know, banish him for good. He gave him the chance to then repent and then he accepted his repentance. Or when one of us makes a mistake, is different from that. Why? It's because when you've disobeyed, how strong is the case of your disobedience in terms of the scenario? When you look at Iblis and the crime he was doing was, number one, he is having a direct conversation with Allah. Musa salam, out of all the human beings, only Musa salam got that, right? Adam salam got that in Jannah, that's fine. Musa salam got that on the earth, right? Uh, the prophets got that through wahi. Some of them got that through speaking directly. It was like Musa salam, and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi got that in Miraj. But the one that is consensus that from the jinns that spoke to Allah directly was Iblis. He spoke directly and he was straight, conversation after conversation. And if you look at his rudeness, how rude he was to Allah. So what we should be fearful of from this is, when we are, if we sin, and we are all human beings, don't forget, look, look at the hadith. The hadith says, Kullu bani adma khatta'un. Every single child of Adam, every single, you know, all children of Adam, they commit mistakes. The best of those who make mistakes are those who come back to God and repent. So for our sins, we should repent and, and, that's, and we have a hope that Allah will, will forgive us. Now, Iblis lost his hope in God. He became distant from the mercy of God. He lost his hope. Now, that's where he gets his name Iblis. Because one of the names of, one of the meanings of Iblis is that he has lost his hope in Allah. Another one is Ibad and Rahma, which means that God made him move far away from his mercy. And the different, you know, uh, meanings of of, of Iblis, depending on how you look at the etymology, etymology of that actual um, name itself. Now, when, when he's standing now, there are various parts of the Quran. Allah addresses Iblis and he says, Ya Iblis, Iblis, ma manak an tasjud lima khalaqtu bi yaday. He says, Oh Iblis, what has prevented you from bowing down to something which I have created with my hands. Now what, what Allah is reminding Iblis here is, Iblis, doesn't matter what you're, what's going on in your mind right now, this creation, end of the day, is not your creation, it's my creation. And anything that Allah attributes to himself automatically becomes blessed. So for example, the Kaaba, we say the Kaaba is the house of Allah, not meaning that Allah lives there, but Allah said, this is my house. Allah has attributed the house to himself. So that house becomes a blessed house. So what has prevented you from bowing down to this creation that I created? Allah says, Astakbarta, have you displayed arrogance? Have you sought to be greater than the thing that I have made great? I have said that this one is greater than all of you here. Knows more than the angels, knows more than you as a jinn. What's wrong with you? Malaka, what's wrong with you? That you haven't bowed down. 
like those who just bowed down. So here there's, there's a direct kind of admonishment that there's something wrong with you. What's up with you? Malaka. Iblis says that Ana Khairum Min. I am better than him. Standing in front of the Lord himself and saying that I'm better than him. So he's now directly challenging God and saying that I'm better than him. You created me from fire, yet you've created him from earth. And that's the reason why I'm better than him.